Let's take a look at the installation for the Arctic Freezer 13 Pro. It is a little bit different from what we're used to. It does not use a back plate, nor does it just use the simple push pin configuration. It does use a mounting plate and push pins. First step, the outer push pins go into the mounting plate. There are three holes in the mounting bracket for LGA 1366, 1155, 56, and 775. We're going to be mounting it in 1156, so we're going to be using the center holes. The push pins will go in, like so, in all four corners. With the outer pins installed, we are then going to install it into the motherboard. When mounting the mounting plate, you're also presented with the choice of mounting it with the mounting holes horizontally or vertically. Airflow is going to be exactly the same direction. When mounting vertically, you can have the fan firing up or firing down, horizontally, front to rear, or rear to front at your choice. We're going to mount horizontally as we're going to use the fan as a rear firing fan. Push pins go up and through the existing holes in the motherboard. With the mounting plate installed, we're going to use the second push pins, which will actually push through the outer push pins and will lock the mounting plate into the motherboard. Taking a look on the rear of the motherboard, you can see that what's actually occurred. The first push, push pins have gone through, second into the center, spreading the first push pins, making for a sturdy mount. With the mounting bracket installed, we're going to place the cooler in. You'll notice two brackets on each side. Two screw holes. We're going to be using the center screw hole for an Intel mount. And it will just place right on top. And a screw on each side will secure it. Since the Arctic Freezer 13 does have two fans, with just the cooling unit without the seaming fan attached, the power lead is already attached. So we're going to plug it in to the CPU fan slot on the motherboard, which is going to leave us to plug in our cooling fan right here. The fan itself simply plugs in and then snaps into place. and it's installed. You can see it's a good sized cooler, but still leaves you with quite a bit of room. It's not all that wide. So, good looking cooler, nice sturdy mount, very easy installation.